we have some news you can use. Oh, we have Reggie <laughs> plays. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope 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 gaming news wrapped up in one epic video but first give it a big thumbs up like 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 if you're not subscribed click subscribe let's get right to the news sony and playstation have done the impossible the writing was on the wall for not just months, for years since the PlayStation has been out. The Switch has been dominating. And I reported last week, Sony finally beat them in Japan. I reported a couple weeks before that Sony beat them once in the U.S., but never across the board globally. Well, it's finally happened. According to the latest uh, weekly hardware trappings from VGCharts.com, PlayStation 5 has beat the Nintendo Switch in every single region. In fact, the PlayStation 5 not only is globally the best-selling hardware, but it's beating both um, the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox in every region. If you look at these numbers right here, in the US, 106,000 versus 98,000 for the Switch. Which, and don't get me wrong, these are all good numbers. These are good numbers for all three consoles. The Switch right now is actually third place in the US. In Europe, Sony still dominating 101,000 to the Switch's 86, Microsoft 71,000, which is still good. In Japan, it's so close. But PlayStation 5 has edged it out by a couple units and actually has beaten the Switch in Japan, making globally for the first time since I can remember. The PlayStation 5 globally is the top selling piece of hardware and with 300,000 units globally for the week, the last week in October. But the crazy thing is, this is October. This does not even factor in God of War Ragnarok launch numbers, bro. When God of War, when the, the launch numbers come out, I think Sony's going to increase uh, that lead, uh, for the, especially for the week when God of War comes out. I need to pause for a second and just share my appreciation for this game. I did a launch night stream last night. You can check it out on my channel, on this channel. But man, this game is amazing. I mean, when you're riding on the sled with the dual sets, like he starts to veer to the left, you can like feel the rubble like moving. To, it's just, you just gotta feel it to experience it. Graphically, insane. I just tweeted out on Twitter. Playson has, has managed to make a game where the gameplay is on par with the CGI cutscenes. It's seamless. It's the same graphical fidelity. That's how amazing this game looks. Like when I was riding in the sled for a second, I thought, oh, I was just watching the CGI scene. Let me just enjoy it. But like, no, I got to control the sled. I was like, this is crazy. Dope, dope, dope game. This is going to be the next one platinum I do on the PS5. But Sony is winning right now. God of War Ragnarok is just phenomenal. I keep saying it. The PlayStation devs are just 
ahead of everyone else. Now, let's switch gears for a little bit. Talking about uh, developers. <laughs> Bro, there is some controversy with Final Fantasy 16, and it's not good. Um, um, gamers have noticed in the last trailer of Final Fantasy 16, all of the characters were Caucasian, were white. And um, Kotaku reached out to one of the game developers, Na Naoki Yoshida, and asked, why was it? Why is everybody white in the game? Why no black people in Final Fantasy 16? And his response was trash, bro. <laughs> he said that he, they were trying to replicate medieval Europe. And that's why uh, there's no um, black people in the game. <laughs> but bro, if you try to replicate medieval Europe, ain't no titans in medieval Europe. Ain't no Ramu, Shiva, all these like um, summons, all this crazy dragons. All that ain't in there. So if y'all were creative and like making all this fantasy stuff, you could have put uh, black people in the game. It is what it is, bro. I'm still going to get the game. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The game is just phenomenal. It looks dope. I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. It's a shame. I give Square Enix a pass because Forspoken has a black female protagonist. Even though I, I'm almost certain it's different developers making the game. <laughs> but that is a little lame. They did, hopefully, they can like patch it or something. <laughs> someone's good. But even, this is what trips me out in these like JRPG games. Like they make the black people, but sometimes they just change the skin tone. So they have the same like white hair or white facial features. They're just darker, bro. <laughs> so so <laughs> it's funny. Um, even though your boy with the gun arm, Barrett in um, Final Fantasy, he's like black, blackity black. All right, so that's that with um, Final Fantasy controversy with the game. It is what it is. All right, switching gears. This is dope, dope, dope news. It is now being reported that a Horizon. MMO is reportedly in the works between Sony and South Korea, Korean studio NCS NC Soft. So we could be getting the next iteration in the Horizon franchise. Could be an MMO, which I'm for it. I've never really gotten into MMOs because I know once you get into it, it's so time consuming. You have to fully, fully commit. So, um, um, MMO Horizon is reportedly in the works, which I would try it out. I would try it out. I don't know how committed I would be to it, but I would be here for it. Um, so it is what it is. I thought that was dope, worth sharing, um, for my MMO fans. And let's end this video showing appreciation for back to back great games i could finally say after years probably over a decade i'm playing a great 3d sonic game sonic frontiers i'm really enjoying this game it's a dope dope game and finally i had my reservations when we when the game was first revealed they showed the um, trailer. I was like, it looks good. But Sonic is just running around in empty space. What is there to do? Like, is there going to be stuff to do? But the game is not disappointed. I love the parkour, how they integrated the open world environment with the obstacles and the enemies. Sonic Frontiers, I'd recommend this game to anyone. Fantastic game. I got it on my PS5. I noticed the default setting was 30 frames per second 4K. Went immediately into my settings, change it. Because I have my PlayStation settings to put games on performance mode by default. So I don't know why th that didn't work for Sonic. It worked for God of War. But I switched it to 60 frames per second. Made a difference for me. And I'm loving the game. All right. So those are the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we're out peace
this channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this, but hey, man. I gotta say, my boy Ob1, my boy Ob1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip, and he has a really cool audience too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them a lot, a lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi Wan, your boy Obi Wan. Hey, man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master right the here, Jedi Obi Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi -Wan, you, man. homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy. Let's go, guys. <laughs> 